passing an abandoned Georgian army truck, we tried to drive to Tsinvali. The road was deserted. Georgian forces have pulled out, but the Russians are there. Suddenly, we were shot at. Kalashnikov fire whistled past the car. Our driver got us out. That's the hole left by one of the bullets that was fired at us just about half a mile down the road behind me. It happened as we were trying to approach Sinvali, and it's likely that the people who fired at us were Russian soldiers, because the Georgian army has now pulled back to where I'm standing, right at the border. And in fact, some Georgian soldiers are trying to retrieve one of their own shot-up vehicles just behind me over there. Moments later, Russian heavy guns were firing at Georgian positions inside Georgia. The Russian army now clearly has the upper hand, and we found soldiers from their permanent peacekeeping force, which stayed here throughout the fighting, relaxing in the sun. The situation's fine, one of them told me. Just a little way north, the Russian army is pouring fresh reinforcements into South Ossetia. This morning, the commander of their operation was wounded by Georgian shell fire. But the Russians seem determined to take complete control of South Ossetia and pile the pressure on Georgia. We saw the last Georgian soldiers in South Ossetia packing up. Georgian armor has pulled well back from the border. The Georgian government insists that this is not a defeat, but many on both sides will take a different view. Julian Mannion, ITV News, on the border with South Ossetia.